Hello everyone, David Brennan here from ablocktowatch.com with a review of the M80 Watches HE5 CHL. So that's a mouthful right there to begin with and to um, unfold all the mystery of that of the name, uh, let's begin with the, with the brand name itself, which is as you can see here is M80. M80 is uh, from the French words uh, Mer, Air, Terre, which uh, is a sea air and land, I hope I got that right. And that name already implies the uh, history uh, of the brand as a supplier to French special forces, police forces and whatnot, as they have been a supplier to those squads for over 20 years now. And it is now that uh, their watches and some of their models are available for the public to purchase. I first met the brand at uh, Basel World earlier this year, just a few months ago, and I was I was really fascinated by the products because I could tell, you know, just by looking at this watch, I'm sure you can sense as well, that there's just so much going on here and it, it looks so rugged and so high quality. I, I wanted to get one of these in for review just to be able to tell over the course of a couple of weeks uh, of uh, wearing this watch just how rugged it really is and, and how it measures up to all those expectations that one has well when you know you hear that uh, someone is a supplier to uh, the French Foreign Legion for example like MAT is so yeah this watch is the AG5 from the AG5 collection and the L in its name the CHL the L uh, refers to the fact that uh, it has the pushers on the left hand side and so uh, it should be worn on the right uh, hand on, on the or the right wrist but actually as I have met the the founder of the brand he told me that uh, they have created a number of different pieces on special orders for uh, these different squads and uh, as he was telling me that he told me that this this exact case design I think although without the chronograph was designed for um, the team that's uh, for a team that's uh, diffusing bombs and they said that they don't want the pushers and the crown and whatever else to uh, be on this side of the case, on the regular side, so they would be wearing the watch on their left hand, but want everything there to be out of way to ensure a free uh, or a relatively more free movement of their of their hands when they are uh, performing delicate uh, operations as they are diffusing uh, different explosives. So I think that's pretty cool. And once you hear that, you 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 raise an eyebrow or two and say, yeah, well, okay, let's see what else is on there and what else they have on offer. So the HE5 here is 44 millimeters wide, so it's a, lot, a rather large watch and at 16.5 uh, millimeters thick, it's, it, it's just, it has a lot of heft to it. The case is in stainless steel, so it's pretty heavy and it has a black PVD coating that's been beautifully applied, it's extremely even and actually it's, it's, it's been doing pretty well against uh, all the abuse. I didn't manage to scratch it somewhere ever so slightly as yes, I almost fell someplace and I, I could feel the watch just hitting the wall a little bit. I, I was coming down some stairs and uh, maybe here a little bit I put something on it but it's nothing major uh, compared to what I was going through right there just falling up the stairs. So uh, yeah, this is I guess probably the best watch to wear when you're falling down a flight of stairs. <laughs> okay, seriously. 200 meters of water resistance is, uh, uh, is is a lot, considering that it it is a chronograph. It of course has, therefore, um, uh, some uh, screw down pushers that you cannot operate when they are locked like this. But this ensures the extended uh, water resistance, to which I am told all the watches are tested. Here uh, you can see the watch on this really cool uh, orange uh, um, rubber strap, which has this. A uh, neat little pattern and texture on the inside to make sure that the watch sits uh, firmly and securely on the wrist. The watch ships with a bunch of other straps. The favorite of mine from them is this really cool canvas strap. It's just, it's just you know, you can tell that it's just something else. You, you can you can put this on the watch and just go diving with it or whatever else. And it's it, you know, if something then this surely has that um, commando kind of. <laughs> Feel and lens the watch, uh, you know, it, it's pedigree that it, it deserves. The watch also comes with um, a black version of the of the orange um, rubber strap and basically the same strap but uh, made uh, from uh, leather. And also in the package is this neat little tube that has a strap change tool inside and a bunch of uh, 
um, pins for the straps. I'm not sure if all of them come uh, with these with these little extra pins that are in this uh, in this tube here, but I did get those and I find it a neat little detail and actually pretty useful. The case of the watch uh, is a travel case. I'm trying to show you right here is this big case. It's pretty nicely uh, made actually. I quite like it and uh, it holds all the straps and the watch and everything else inside so I think that's pretty cool. Alright back to the watch like I said it's pretty thick and large and the thickness is uh, well one of the reasons uh, for that is the 7750 ETA movement inside that runs at 4 Hz provides uh, about 42 hours of power reserve and yeah it's basically just the bulk standard uh, ETA 7750 that does not have the running seconds here in the 9 o'clock po uh, position but rather just the 30 second minute counter for the chronograph, the hour counter for the chronograph, the, of course the hour hand, the minute hand and the running seconds in the center. So although you do not get running seconds you can just have the chronograph uh, running all the time and uh, that indicates that the watch is running. The watch also has a unidirectional bezel, a 60 click one that feels just super Super durable. I, I really like this uh, this little feature here. Although I do wish that the uh, that the bezel was also loomed, which it isn't. I think that would be a really cool little detail. So if you want to time something, uh, like uh, sometimes I do, what uh, I find a little bit tedious is just always unscrewing these pushers and just getting the chronograph ro uh, running. So what I would sometimes do is just get the bezel uh, turned to the right position and just use that for timing. Speaking of, chron of the chronograph, you have to, of course, unscrew uh, the pushers here, oh, their uh, locks, and then you can use it. One, one thing you have to note is that the, uh, the start and stop happens here on the lower pusher as opposed to the usual upper position, so you, ha you can stop and start the, uh, the chronograph there. I think that's, that's just another cool little detail that goes with a, with a watch that's basically upside down, if you, if you like. The loom is one of the few things that I'm not exactly pleased uh, by on this watch. It's a green, it's sad, it, it is said to be uh, super luminova, but it's definitely not as bright or as long lasting as some of the uh, other watches that I have uh, tested. It, it's kind of that, that fady, spacky green, and I think if there's one aspect to this watch where M80 could uh, improve. Uh, is the the quality of the loom on the hands and the indices. The surfaces are large, which also means that I think a lot more loom or a better quality loom could be applied and just make the dial uh, really pop. Because you know something when 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 something is said to be uh, designed to be used in a very demanding situations and especially by special forces, you would expect to see excellent loom and that unfortunately is not exactly exactly the case. Not a big deal. It's really easy to fix and I hope that they will do that sometime soon. It's not terribly bad but uh, I feel that it could be better. Nevertheless the the legibility is good as you can see the uh, the contrast between the hands and the, especially the, the large white luminescent uh, areas on there is excellent against the dark dial. The sapphire crystal is over two millimeters thick, so it's just super, super hard. You can, you can, you can hear that. Yeah, that's that's what you would want. It's it's really just super high quality. The um the uh, AR coating is also really nicely done. So I, I you know I'm quite pleased with legibility. Only it is in the dark that where I could feel it could perform a little bit better. On the wrist, because uh, before I forget it, I've just put it on real quick. You can see that at 44 millimeters wide, it's of course, not small at all. It's uh, uh you know, it, it it's really comfortable for what it is, and given the over sixteen millimeter thickness, and also, like you said, I was wearing it um on my left uh, hand just because I really enjoy this uh, freedom right here, and I don't really find wearing watches on my right wrist uh, comfortable. So here, it's just a really cool little detail that I can just move my wrist just much more in my hand, much more freely. The strap is excellent, it's very supple, it's very uh, soft and it has this really nice uh, feel to it. And it smells suspiciously like vanilla, so that's a, that's another uh, neat little detail. Price for one of these is 3150 US dollars and you can see the full review of the MAT AG5CHL on the blog soon. Thanks.